you can align it. Uh, so you have this uh, box right here too. So really you just have all these extra additional, you know, X, Y, Z accesses that you can really kind of move it around and, and kind of see what you've scanned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel of Jamia's Promo. Today I'll be answering the most common question around the 3D scanner on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And that is once you take a 3D scan, are you able to send it to someone else? And also, can you send it to your computer and open up the file there? And so the quick answer is yes, you can to all of these. So we will be talking about a program on a computer that is called Mesh Labs. Now there's a lot of programs out there, but for anybody who is a beginner, for somebody who just wants to open and look at the file and do small edits and changes and creativity things, uh, this is the perfect program for you and it's called Mesh Labs. Now let's just say that you wanted to send a 3D scan to someone else you know directly off of the phone and one that's not really a file that they open on a computer so let's cover these two things really fast so first off when you take a 3d scan so when you're inside of your camera you'll be heading over inside of bixby vision and then inside of bixby vision you have all these different applications that show up and then this is where you hit 3d scanner now this is where you go through and you scan something but you also have your gallery icon right there so these are all of the images that you've already scanned. Now from here, what you're able to do is let's say that we have this scan right here that we just got done showing. So the very first icon that you see right over here is a person. So when you click on that person, you are attaching this 3D scan. So this way, if you wanna shoot a video with your scan inside, you can do that. And once it's attached, uh, it has that little icon next to the person you hit on your camera and then you're able to basically shoot a video. So let me show you what this looks like. Uh, if you go inside of 3D scan, uh, this is inside of my gallery. And so here you can see that I took uh, the unspeakable person and my little dude loves this YouTube channel. And so you're able to attach it to videos and then they're able to move around and it attaches to the movements. So this is one way you can attach your 3D scan and send it to somebody in the format of a video. Now the second way is the first one that you saw, which is it's created as a GIF. So once you do a 3D scan, right over here you're gonna see a folder that says GIFs, and then every single thing that you have scanned is now inside of here. So this is the second way that you can send your scan, uh, but it's gonna be done as a GIF and they're really not able to do anything with it. Uh, they can't really move it around. Uh, let's see if I go to another one here. Uh, so then now when you did your 3D scan, they're able to check all the stuff out. So those are the two things, two applications that you can apply basically your 3D scan to on your phone as a GIF, as well as attaching it inside of a video and it attaches to the person so then they can move around. Now we're getting to the main question at hand, which is can you send it to a computer? And yes, you can. So here are the steps that you're able to do with that one. Again, head inside of your camera go inside of Bixby Vision on the very top, and then click on 3D Scanner. So you should have already done this if you've done some 3D scans. Then you have your little gallery that's on the side. So here's everything that you're able to send to a computer. So these are the ones that are still saved. Uh, so let's just say that we click on this little teddy bear, unicorn looking thing, right? <laughs> okay, so we have this thing. Now on the very top, you're gonna see those three little dots. That three little dots just means that you're able to share it or create a GIF. And so once you go up inside of there, you can do create GIF or share. So when you hit on share, you're gonna see a pop-up that says the person receiving this would have to have a program such as Mesh Labs or free CAD and other programs. Now, you're not able to send this in terms of text messages. Everything here is all cloud-based. It's a way that you can upload it because it's a file that has to be opened on a computer. Now, once you are done with that, you're gonna just maybe hit on Gmail. So with inside of Gmail, I'm just gonna send it to my own self. So I'm gonna say, Jimmy is promo. My subject is scan and compose email. I'm just gonna write whatever. Now that you've emailed yourself the 3D scan, you wanna head over inside of the internet and just go to Google and search for Mesh Lab. So it's a program you wanna download. It's a way that you're able to open up 3D scans and everything else. Uh, the first one you see is meshlab.net. So as you scroll down, you're gonna see where you can download it for your Windows or Mac OS. So just choose whichever one, whichever computer you have, you download it, you install it, uh, you do all that good stuff. And then now what you're gonna do is you're gonna see Mesh Lab on your computer. So you'll open up Mesh Lab, and then now you just basically have to import that mesh uh, that you just gave yourself. So now uh, you already emailed it to yourself, you download the program, head inside of your email, 
go to the scan that you've sent to yourself and basically highlight over that, that file. This is where you go to download. And so right after this, you're gonna go inside of your downloads and you have to extract the folder. Sounds like a lot, it's really not a lot at all. So now that you have all of this done, we're gonna head over here. Let's go inside of the folder, uh, head down to downloads. And then it's gonna be this one right here that you just sent yourself. Uh, it's 1109, so I know that this is it. So you will right click and go to extract all. And then you just basically extract it. And then now that it's extracted, it's saved into basically your folders and everything. Uh, now you just wanna head inside of MeshLab. You're gonna go right over here and you will import Mesh, which is basically your 3D scan. You go right back to where you were from before. So you head inside of your downloads. It's gonna be this folder here because you just got done creating this. You tap on that little uh, icon right there and hit on open. And so now this should be right here, that little uh, unicorn flying thing. Uh, you can zoom in, you can, you can zoom out, you can really get you know, really close inside of there. Uh, you have your axes here, so your X and Y. On the very top, you can also show more things. So if you want your wireframe, uh, so you can actually show uh, a little bit more detailed of every single section that was scanned. Uh, so you can check all of this out. And so again, it's, it's kind of nice because you have somebody who might not have the Galaxy Note 10 Plus who is not able to do any type of scans. And so now you're able to pretty much send this to them. Uh, now inside of here, there's a lot of things. Um, you can measure it. You can see how big your, your item is. You can align it. Uh, so you have this uh, box right here too. So really you just have all these extra additional you know, X, Y, Z accesses that you can really kind of move it around and, and kind of see what you've scanned. So from here, there's a lot that you're able to do. So this is still pretty new to me. I'm not gonna act like I'm an expert from here, but I am really good at doing 3D scans. I know exactly how to do it. You're not able to just let it sit in front of a lazy Susan and turn it around or put it on a piece of paper and spin it in front of you. That's not how the 3D scanner app works on the Galaxy Note 10. It works with the 3D depth, the, the time of flight sensors, reading where all of the objects and the, the eyes and the nose is, but it has to go along with the location based of you walking around the phone. So with all of the sensors in the phone, the gyroscopes and everything else, it knows that you are walking, so it is scanning. If you're just sitting there trying to spin something in front of you, the app is reading it as if it is a reflection. So it's like I took my really shiny reflective guitar outside, and even though I walked around, it was just all these reflections and didn't know what to do. So that's what happens. So you do have to walk around your object, uh, and then you're able to send it and do all this stuff. So I know how I can do all of this, but there's a lot of things in terms of edits and filters and a whole bunch of things and cleaning and repairing. So there's a lot of stuff that I also do want to learn, but at least this is a way that you're able to open it up the file on a computer and anybody who has a little bit more creative status than I do can do just a little bit more and edit and remove and fix things. So that is pretty much it for this video. I wanted to answer the simple question of, can you send it to a computer and open up the file? The answer is yes, it's right there, it's right in front of you. Now, what can you do with it? My guess is a lot, but the nice thing I love about this is even though it's brand new for me, there's a lot that I don't know, I'm just really glad that we're at a foundation, a starting point of opening up the doors to do so many things. So yes, you're able to take 3D scans, you can send it as gifts to your friends, you can put them inside of videos and have it tag along with you, and you can send it to computers, and then from here, it just opens up a whole nother door, a whole nother realm of what you're able to do. Uh, and I do find myself getting myself a 3D printer probably within the next couple months. I'll definitely get it this year. I was looking at it yesterday and almost bought one, but I'm gonna hold off a little bit, let these kind of play out. Uh, but other than that, I'm actually pretty super excited about what this brings to the mobile devices and bringing it to something that used to cost 2000 to print, and now you can do it with like $300, $400 with a pretty good scan and a pretty good print. But other than that, I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side, that little circle. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. Again, if you like this video, if you like this content, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. That really helps the discovery of this video. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.